In this video, we'll be looking at the different cardiac valves that are found in the heart, and then we'll also take a tour through the heart to see how blood flows through it and how those valves function. So the first one that we'll look at is the tricuspid valve. So tri means three. So this valve is made up of three flaps. And this tricuspid valve sits between the right atrium and the right ventricle. So it's this one over here. And if we just quickly scroll down a bit, it's this valve over here. So we can see one, two, three flaps. So that is the tricuspid valve. Now what happens with this one? How it does it work? As deoxygenated blood comes in through the superior and then the inferior vena cava, it enters the right atrium. Once the blood is in the right atrium, the right atrium will contract, pushing the blood through to the right ventricle. Now, in order for the blood to be uh, pushed through, the heart strings that we see on the left here, those strings there, and then these ones over here, they will relax. And this allows the blood to move through so that the valve will open. Now the blood is in the right ventricle and the heart will contract once again. So the ventricle will contract, pushing the blood hopefully upwards and not into this uh, right atrium again. And this is prevented with the uh, valve flaps closing. And they close because of the blood pushing up against them. So as soon as the ventricle contracts, the blood is uh, is pushed up against these flaps and this actually closes off that valve and then the heart strings will make sure that these flaps don't invert back into the right atrium so the heart strings also play a role there and then the blood can go into the pulmonary artery next is the bicuspid valve or the mitral valve so bi means two so this valve has two flaps and this specific one sits between the left atrium and then the left ventricle. So it's this one over here. And if we look at this diagram here at the bottom, it's the only one of the four valves that has two flaps. One, two. So that is the bicuspid valve. So it has a similar functioning to the tricuspid valve. So once blood comes from the lungs, so this is now oxygenated blood moving through the pulmonary veins, this blood will enter the left atrium. The left atrium will contract, pushing the blood past the flaps. Once again, the heart strings will relax in allowing for that. And now the blood is in the left ventricle. Once the blood is there, the ventricle will contract, pushing the blood up and against those flaps uh, so that they will close and blood does not go in. Once again, the heart strings ensure that the flaps only go to a certain point and uh, not allowing the blood to go through to the left atrium again. So now the blood moves uh, through the left ventricle and then into the aorta. Next is the semilunar valves. So there's two of them. The first one sits um, in between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. So thus that one will be named the semilunar pulmonary valve relating to the lung, going to the lung through the pulmonary artery. And then the second one sits between the left ventricle and the aorta. Thus this one will be known as the semilunar aortic valve. If we look at this diagram here at the bottom, you'll see that they also have three flaps. So it looks similar to the tricuspid valve, but they are a little different. So they have a half moon shape and then they also have mem uh, membranous sacs. So if we look at this diagram here, you can see uh, that they have this half moon shape and then they've got these membranous sacs. So what happens when the right or the left ventricle contract, it pushes the blood past that um, valve. So blood passes through and then these valves are flaps, are pressed flat against the artery walls. When the ventricles relax, when these guys relax, it means now that the right and the left atriums will be contracting. Atria will be contracting. So when this happens, blood will flow back towards those valve flaps. 
And then when that happens, those little sacs that these valves have will then fill with the blood and that will then close them because it's like you scooping water, for example, with a plastic bag. So they fill up and that pushes them against each other, closing the, the valve opening. So that's how they function. Now we will look at the ShareCare U app and take a, a walk through the heart and then also look at these valves uh, from a different perspective. There we go. So once again, the exterior view of the heart, which we've already looked at. So let's look at the valves first. So we can see three of the four valves. The only valve that is not visible here is the semilunar pulmonary valve. So the valve on the left hand side there, that is the tricuspid valve. The valve to its right hand side is then the bicuspid valve. And then the valve in the middle of those two is then the semilunar aortic valve. And we can see it going, we can see the branch of the aorta going there. Let's see the valves with the interior of the heart. There we go. So that lub dub sound that you can hear, the beating of the heart, that is the valves that are actually opening and closing. So that is the sound that you hear when somebody's heart is beating. Now let's take a tour inside the heart. Okay, so we're now inside the heart and this is the left side of the heart. So this is oxygenated blood that has just come from the lungs and the reason i'm saying that is because this valve opening and closing on the right hand side of your screen that is the bicuspid valve one two flaps and then to the left of your screen you should be able to see two holes there so that is one um, of the pulmonary valve veins so two of the pulmonary veins coming in and then that means that the other two pulmonary veins are just behind us there they are so this blood has just come from the lungs, so it's now oxygenated. Let's continue moving through. So now we are moving from the left atrium to the left ventricle. So now we're in the left ventricle and we should be able to look back now at the bicuspid valve and the heart strings. You can see the heart strings there, those white portions pulling on it. And that means that the valve to the left hand side is now the semilunar aortic valve. Almost looks like a parrot's beak. So now we're moving from the left ventricle into the aorta. And if we just look back at this valve, so you can't see it as well with this demonstration, but obviously as blood moves through and then the ventricle relaxes again, the blood will fall back and push against these flaps because they've got these membranous sacs and then the blood actually closes these valves. Let's continue. There we are in the aorta. You can see the other branches of the aorta. So now oxygenated blood is being distributed to the rest of the body. Next is now the right side of the heart so this is blood coming in from the superior and inferior vena cava which means that this is deoxygenated blood so if we look back we should see the vena cava that we just came out from so that would be most likely the superior vena cava and that would be the inferior both emptying out into the right atrium let's continue so that is the tricuspid valve, one, two, three flaps that we can see, as well as the heart strings. Now we are in the right ventricle and we will look back at the tricuspid valve with the heart strings, which means that the valve on the right hand side, which we'll be moving through now, is the semilunar pulmonary valve. So deoxygenated blood is now moving from the left ventricle into the pulmonary arteries where it will be going to the left and the right lung, which means that if we get to the frontier, we should be able to see two branches. There we go, left and right lung, and we will go to one of the lungs. 
there we go. I hope it was helpful seeing the blood move through the heart as it just did. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date with any new videos that are posted.